There comes a time in every life, a turning point when you realize no matter how much you plan, it's out of your control. You know where you're supposed to go, how you're going to get there, who will take the journey with you, and then one day you turn around and it all blows up in your face. Because the truth is, nothing ever turns out the way you expect it to. Um, Courtney's late. I heard. Yeah. Open it. But she's not in there. I tried that already. Well, don't you have keys? All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Courtney. You know, it, it's the third time in two weeks. It's going to be a problem. People. Mary Kate are says starting... we're moving to ICU. I I, I can't go into the Just ICU. Do I'm it. set up. In... When? Tell me Courtney's been here. Haven't seen her. Diva, my ass. These aren't even her own tits. Well, we know the doctor personally. He's a friend, yeah, that's well, all. Yours are nicer, darling. Winnie, I need ten minutes. I, I need a story. I've been back burner since you took me out of the wheelchair. I have nothing to submit for the Emmys. Out of my control. What? Oh, I thought the wheelchair suited you. What are Thank you. What are you saying? Where did you get those words coming out of your mouth? Pink pages in my inbox. Cut my best lines, Winnie. <laughs> No one issues pink pages but me, so who the hell? Our fearless leader? Do you know that for a fact? Did Raymond give you those pink pages? Winnie, 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 did you hear what I just said? I heard you, Brian. You're my star, my leading man. Don't mess with me, Winifred. Without me, Greenville General is just, just another, another soap. soap. You hmm. want a meeting and a story? Call Becca and set it up. Thank you. I hear she had pieces of her butt injected into her cheekbones. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Bitch. Harry Kate, we have a problem. Exactly. We were just saying we have problems. It's the summer romance thing. Raymond keeps rewriting me. We have the hottest TV ingenue with the highest TVQ on our network, and we don't have a romance for her. That's what Brandon was just saying, weren't you, Brandon? Talk to me. Well, go on, Winnie, tell him. I can give you Gone with the Wind if that's what you want. I I'm ready to write it on paper now, and I in fact, I will fly to New York and pitch it to you. Brandon? You were saying? Which part did you miss? I missed nothing, Winnie. You were talking about my daughter. The hottest? Soap ingenue on the network, your network, and she clearly needs a summer romance. See, here's my problem. Days is winning teens. YNR hasn't even slipped half a point. School's almost out, and I haven't heard a single reason why anyone should tune into Greenville General. In the works, major storyline, I promise. Hot, hot, hot. Brandon covers the whole canvas. I'm counting on my team there. I want Courtney front burner. My daughter didn't book a pilot, and we want to keep her happy. Oh, Courtney is happy. She is ecstatic. Dean, you there? Present. You're my eyes and ears out there. Major Courtney, front and center. And not with Rod Steele. You keep my girl away from him. He'd stick a wood pile if he thought there was a snake in it. Find her a new romance. Something sweet and wholesome. Winnie, Greenville General may be Raymond Kennedy's baby, but you're responsible for the day-to-day. -day. We can't let the old man undermine you. I could handle him, Brandon. He's an old fart. Doesn't Raymond have a no-cut contract? Everyone has a price. Say the word, Raymond's history. Brandon? Hello? 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 He's gone. Where the fuck is Courtney? She didn't show up for work this morning. I, I'm not sure if she made it home last night. If I turn on DMZ and see her scrawny ass, she hates me. You know that. It'll be fine, Mary-Kate. She probably just forgot her call time. About the pinks. Fuck the pinks. Fine, Courtney. Don't worry about the pinks, Winnie. Just say the word and Raymond's history. Oh, chocolate pudding, chocolate pudding, chocolate pudding, chocolate pudding. Rod? 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 Shh. I know oh. you're in here. Rod! I'm preparing. Oh, yes, I know how you prepare in here. Everyone does. Look, that's Courtney you have it's back not... there. Just tell me. It's not Courtney. Why can't I have a little privacy? Because you're a lion sack of... Hi, Winnie. It's not what it looks like. Of 
course not. You're just having a meaningful exchange of ideas. Where is she? We broke up. Look, the last time I saw Courtney, she was screaming at me to go fuck myself and polishing off a bottle of vodka in Venice. You broke up with the boss's daughter and left her in Venice? She has a dependency issue. And an eating disorder. All right, look, if anything happens to Oh, look, you... don't be stupid. Daddy's the boss. He's not going to fire her. No, but he could fire you if he finds his little girl dead in a gutter. <sighs> Maddie, use protection. If you get knocked up, I'll send Tracy up to her room and I'll bring her down a tall redhead. It's her. It's Courtney. Fuck her. <laughs> Fritz! Oh, hey, hi. Seriously? Uh, well, when our fearless leader speaks, you know. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do. Winnie! Where is he? Inner sanctum. Don't, don't do that. Don't. That's littering. Stop, stop, stop. Shall we run our lines, darling? Why? We've done this scene a dozen times before. Guys, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Brian. Yeah. This can't be you. Thanks, Fritz. Oh, by the way, you're a liar. You like her tits better than mine. You always have. Shit. The bitch is divorcing me again. <laughs> and it works story-wise as well, because then you get Raymond. the in trouble. Raymond. Winnie, the barn cannot explode. It can't. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Winnie, I, I want you to meet Julian. Who? Hi. Raymond, we, we need to talk. It's important. Oh, all right, Winnie, just settle down. Now, come, come on here. Uh, just should I down. leave? No, I want you to find out how things work around here. Now, what is it, dear? What, what can I do for you? Raymond, you can't keep rewriting me. We, we had a deal. No pinks. I didn't rewrite you. Oh, thank you, dear. Uh, oh, but this, oh, this is a great scene. It came to me in a dream. It undermines my authority. I, uh, what is he still doing here? We see Julian wrote a beautiful graduate thesis oh. and soap operas, what, what, was, what was the name of it? Uh, Dickens the Daytime, America's contribution to the canon of serialized literature. Mm -hmm. Tell her how you describe me, huh? No, no. Oh, come on, come on. Well, he, he's the godfather of American soaps, a legend in his own time, the creative genius behind the second longest running daytime drama, Greenville General. You hear that, Winnie? He appreciates me, and that's why I hired him. Hired him for what? To be your creative consultant. But Raymond, you can't do that. Of course I can do it. You heard what he said about me. I, I am a legend in my own mind. Uh, uh, Raymond. 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 Oh my. Raymond. Are you okay? Raymond. Oh, oh my gosh.